Hi, it's Jonathan. Mm, two weeks ago, I saw a, a YouTube video of a guitar from Holly Benton. Uh, tally shape, black in color, with gold hardware, and with hamburgers. Caught my eye. Caught my fancy. Well, today it arrived in Toman. This is the Holly Benton TE40. So this is the Harley Benton TE40 TBK Deluxe Series. Um, as you can see, it says here Roswell pickup with power ferro fretboard. Okay, the body is basswood. Uh, the top of it is ash. Uh, bolt on neck, maple, maple neck. The fretboard is blackwood. Why does it say power ferro? It says power ferro. I don't know. We will, we'll, 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 we'll confirm it later as we open up. Fretboard radius of 350mm, 22 frets, uh, 60, 648 scale, 648mm scale length, nut width of 43mm, uh, dual action truss rod, hmm? two uh, Roswell HAF and Eco 5 humbucker pickups, one volume, one knob. You know, Tunomatic bridge with string true body, golden deluxe hardware, and the color is transient, translucent black. Right? The color is translucent black. Mm. Guitar comes in at uh, 179 Singapore dollars. I'll put the price down below. It's 116, approximately 116 euros. Right. So let's get on with it. So on close inspection, guitar is flawless, nice gold hardware, string true, maple neck quarter song. Okay, says here QC passed. No idea where this is made from. You know, as I said. Uh, Ross, uh, this uh, Harley Benton stopped putting the country of origin on most of the guitars. Maybe the old one still has it, but you know, the new ones will not have any marking as to where the guitar was manufactured. Volume, tone, pickup selector, three way. It's like uh, it has a tally sort of body. Uh, arch top, really nice arch here, very nice, very, very sassy looking. Uh,
So the T40 is basically a tally shaped guitar with humbuckers. Okay, and note about the humbuckers. These are the uh, Roswell HAF and Eco 5 pickups. Are very similar to the ones in the Fusion Pro or uh, Roasted Maple, the one that I had. Um, maybe slightly different because on, on, on the Roasted Maple, on the Roasted Maple, the humbuckers are core tappable. Uh, you can actually split coil on it, but this I don't think so because there's no, there's no uh, coil tap or you know coil splitting switch anywhere to be found. Push pull nothing. So it's basically just a humbucker. And the hardware are pretty normal. The tuners are normal. I mean it works. Um, not as good as a high end tuner, but it works. You know, it's gold. You know. I just hope all these don't tarnish in time. You know, probably get rid of the string tree and put in rollers, roller, roller string trees. These are the Tunematic um, bridge. String true, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice design, you know, looking at it. The only thing that I would like to change is the nut. You know, if it's a, a black, like, you know, a graph type, uh, graphite nut, which is black in color, that'll be fine. That'll be really be cool. Right. Okay, how does it play? Um, the neck. It's almost the same as the the uh, Fusion Pro uh, Ocean Turquoise. Almost the same width, uh, the same thickness. You know, it's pretty fast. You know, uh, what got me confused is the um, the fretboard because on the box it stated Paul Farrell, you know, Paul Farrell fret fret fretboard. But then on the specs in the website, it states as a uh, black wood. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure uh, what, what, what kind of material uh, is the fretboard. You know, is it a black wood or a power ferro fretboard? Uh -huh. So, but in any case, it looks pretty, pretty nice. It could be power ferro. Yeah. And then um, the pickups, right? The pickups are pretty bright, you know. Um, well, compared to the Ocean Turquoise, you know, uh, the Ocean Turquoise is a, uh, it has a different set of uh, Roswell humbuckers, and they are much warmer. Uh, this is a little bit, when I first started playing this, I was kind of, kind of taken aback by the brightness of the sound. Uh, many, uh, how should we say, many reasons for this. Uh, probably one of it is because of the wood of the body. This is a base wood body. Uh, the Ocean Turquoise is a mahogany body. These are not stainless steel frets. I think these are the normal frets, normal nickel frets. Um, yeah. So, but you know, being bright and all, you know, it's, it, it doesn't uh, cause steel a big problem for me because you know every guitar that I have, I would like you know have a different patch for it. So, I would EQ this, you know, to make it uh, you know uh, pleasing to the ear and you know, not so jarring. Um, the switch all works, you know, the volume and. and the tone part it all works. Our uh, guitar came in really uh, well set up. The intonation was spot on. Um, no, no, uh, you know, uh, sharp frets or anything. And it's pretty, pretty well um, QC. Yeah, nice guitar to look at and a nice guitar to play on. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and join this channel if you want to. And uh, press that bell if you want to be notified of uh, new videos that comes out. So in the meantime, you guys keep on rocking and uh, guess take care. Ciao.